This video is to go over the Chapter 17, Lesson 1, Work Together Problem, which can be found on page 521 of your Century 21 Accounting General Journal Textbook, Edition 10E by Gilbertson, Lehman, and Gentine. So all credit for this problem and the text uh, that it comes from to them. So let's begin the problem. This comparative income statement for Tri-State Pipe and a form for completing this problem are given in the working papers or on this spreadsheet. Your instructor, that's me, will guide you through the following examples. Number one, complete the vertical analysis of the comparative income statement. Round the percentage calculations to the nearest 0.1%. So we're going to complete these missing calculations. Um, from our comparative income statement. And as you can see, I've already given you the basic formula. B18 divided by the absolute reference of B7, which is your net sales, would give you the rent expense divided by net sales. This time we can either drag this formula down because I've already done it correctly with this absolute reference using dollar signs to get the 14% or we can actually do the formula ourselves. Equals salary expense divided by net sales would give us that 14%. We'll do the same thing here. Operating expenses divided by our net sales amount and income from operations. Income from operations amount divided by net sales. So we should have had 30% and 21.3% for those. I would do the very same thing over here. You can either drag the formula down, which I've already created correctly to get the 14.8% for salary expense, or you can do your own formulas equals, click on the amount, for operating expenses, divide it by your net sales, would get you 30.2%. And same thing for income from operations. Just dividing by that net sales amount as your denominator. So 30.2 and 22.8 is what you should have come up with. Now part two, compare selected vertical analysis ratios to Tri-State Pipe's benchmark ratios. Identify whether each ratio indicates a favorable trend and was within management's target range. So now we'll come down here. Gross margin. First of all, where is our gross margin? We want it to be between 21.4 and 25. And for the current year, oh, you know what? We didn't fill out these up here. We should have done 321 divided by 659 and 338 divided by 659 to get 51.3 and 48.7. Same thing over here. Cost of merchandise sold divided by net sales is 47% and our gross profit divided by net sales was 53%. So we can see our gross margin for the current year was, this is gross margin is the same as gross profit, 51.3%. So I'll just do equals that cell. I do not want a suggested autofill. And our prior year is over on this side. So it would be equals the 53%. So is it favorable for our gross margin to be at 51.3%? If our acceptable range is between 50.4 and 52, then yes, it would be. It falls within that favorable trend area. Um, if our gross margin was 53 from the prior, 51 this year, I don't know as it's necessarily better, but it's still favorable. So within the target range, also yes. Operating expenses for the current year. 
our total operating expenses for the current year are 30%. And for the prior year, they are 30.2. So yes, this is favorable because it has went down, right, by 0.2%. So I'd say yes, we're moving in the right direction, but is 30% in between the range we're looking for is acceptable between 27 and 29? No, it is not. We still need to keep moving those operating expenses down. And operating margin for the current year, it would be here at 21.3, your income from operations. And in the prior year, it was 22.8. We want our operating margin to be between 21.4 and 25. That's what management has set. So 21.3 is actually a little shy of that. So no, it's not within the target range. And also the prior year it was higher than this year. So it's really not a favorable trend either. So that is how we would look at these um, income statement amounts and compare in a vertical way um, current year to prior year er, so that is what we have for work together 17 1 and you can flip over to the on your own and do this one on your own it's, again very similar to the problem we just did